Hey everyone, it's Andrew and Wendy at Microphonic Designs here today at Grand Prairie High School. We did a lot today. It is coming up on 7 p.m. We've been here since 10 a.m., long day, and we had a full audio system to put together today. Grand Prairie, uh, the district, ISD, did, um, they made some amazing stuff happen, and they got this program set up with all and entirely everything brand new audio system that um, I was fortunate they were able to purchase through me. So all the audio equipment that you see and that we're gonna show off, um, Microphonic Designs was the, the vendor for all of that stuff. So this is like extra special uh, setup here. Um, the first thing that I'll take you guys through are the Mackie DRM series line array setups and the DRM subs. Let me show you what we got over here. Let me walk through the vibraphones here. So the speakers are on Pageantry Innovations SC10 speaker carts that they um, basically did custom measurements for the DRM speakers for us. And uh, I've got everything as neat as I can. We're gonna figure out a storage solution for the combo cables here soon that is on the list. Um, but this is basically what we're looking at with the DRMs. And these speakers are super easy to use. I really like them. They have, um, here, let me zoom in. They've got really easy settings, like the crossover. It's a DRM top, so I've got both of the subs set to that, uh, which is great. They've got a bunch of different settings in here. That's the main one that we're worried about. Cardioid mode, if you're into that type of thing. I've set the levels, there we go, negative six, front facing, and let me zoom back out so you don't get motion sick. And then up here on the line array units, uh, I'll go to normal for this, here we go. You can see I've got it in dual array mode. You just click the button, you can go into array mode and hit dual since we have two of them. And then uh, for the sub crossover, it's built in DRM sub. Really, really good stuff, there we go. Go back to main. So I've got those set. And I'm really, really pleased with this setup. I, I've been, we've been working on getting Grand Prairie set up with all this stuff since like November. And it's uh, coming up on Mother's Day in May. Um, so I'm really pleased that it's finally come to fruition. This is what they look like from the front. Just a great looking speaker, great looking sub. So there we go, the DRM-12A line arrays and the DRM-18S subwoofers. I've got them set up with a Core Design mixer cart, Yamaha TF1. We've got the Shure ULXD 4Q wireless receiver unit here, although I only uh, we only got them set up with two of the body pack transmitters, um, but they'll be able to add two of them on later as they need, but this is what I have. And the reason that I chose the, the 4Q is because it has the uh, Dante capability. And so in the back of the TF1 here, come around back, it's a little bit crazy because we have two snakes, but we'll get there in a second. Um, here we go, we've installed the Dante card right here. So uh, once they pick up an extra ethernet cable, I'll be able to link this down here. Oops, there we go. There it is, the two Dante ports, right there. So that is how we are going to navigate using those extra channels when we have all 16 of the inputs here maxed out already. Uh, so that's what we have going on in the mixer cart. Got the Furman F1500 down below. Massive battery, but it fit like a glove. And then up top, we've got the RF Venue diversity fan antenna that's gonna feed the radio frequency signal to the quad receiver unit. So that's all looking great. I'm very pleased with this. Another thing that I did for them was this quick connect panel. Now by default, the core design carts come with this blank panel, uh, but I bought some connectors, some PowerCon connectors, some XLR pass-through connectors, and basically installed a version of my active output panels, but it was just with the built-in panel um, from core design. And then the power inlet is down here. On the inside of that panel, you'll see here I've got the the heat shrink and everything on the power con cables and then all of the audio cables are color coded that go up to the mixer. So that's what that looks like. And then we have the two snakes staged over here. 
I've got a 12 channel on stage snake and an eight channel on stage snake. And so basically the plan, I have the diagram over here. The plan is to have the 12 channel snake come to the marimbas and then the synthesizers will come forward to that snake. And then the eight channel snake is over here to the vibes and we have a couple of extra open channels. Although again, the mixer is already maxed out. So I just chose the smaller of the two snakes to go to the vibes. So I kind of split it out like that. So that is what the plan is gonna look like. Here's the mixer. Uh, and to kind of see what that looks like um, in context, you know, here on the vibraphones, we've got the mics, uh, you know, one per with the cables for these two coming in this way. And then here's the other two vibes. And their cables are coming this way, right? And the snake, that eight channel snake is gonna go right there. And Wendy did all of the, pretty much all the cabling today herself. She did a really great job. She did all the color coding on these cables herself, which is just awesome. Uh, I was working on the, the mixer cart and everything while she was doing that. So that's that. So again, from the vibes, these two are gonna come in. These two are gonna come in. And the snake is gonna go right there. And it's the same idea with the marimbas, except we have two mics on each one. So again, we've got two mics here. Their cables come this way to meet up with this marimba here. The cables, and here are the cables. Yep, so they'll connect. And then those come all the way in this way and the snake will go here. So if we zoom out a little bit, we've got marimbas one, two, three, and four. And so all the cables will come into the middle right there, which is where the snake is gonna go, that 12 channel snake. Uh, we just don't have quite enough room in the percussion hall here to set everything up all the way. And then synthesizers, again, I got them set up with two of the core design synth carts. They're a little bit different. They look the same on the outside, but they are a little bit different. This is the, I think it's the FC Synth X12 because we have rack space here. And this is the regular synth cart with no rack rails over there. So the idea here We've got an 88 key controller in the main synth cart. This is where the Mac mini is gonna go, the laptop maybe. Um, so this is gonna host everything. And then over here is just the controller and the monitor for the synth two player. And so they'll have a USB extension cable, a power cable and an audio cable linking these two carts so that this player can get connected to the computer that's over here. Also got them set up with the Scarlett, what is that, the 18i20 rack mountable audio interface, and I wanted them to have plenty of room, plenty of output. We actually have four outputs coming from that audio interface. We've got synth one, left and right, and synth two, left and right. And I kind of poked them out of the, the blank panel here just to see if that would work. But here, I've got the bundle of four cables that are gonna go from the side of the synth cart up to where the snake is gonna go. And then we also have the, we're using the two headphone monitored outputs right here as the feed for the actual monitor speakers. And that's pretty much it. Uh, real simplistic diagram. We're gonna have uh, some adjustments to make because when we started planning all of this, they didn't have a fall show picked out. Again, it was like right after the 2023 marching season that uh, we all got in touch to start working on this. Um, so we're going to have to do, make a few adjustments, but I'm very pleased. It's been a very long day. Really glad that Wendy was able to come and help out because I would have been here till like midnight <laughs> working on this by myself. And, um, suffice it to say, I love these Mackie speakers. Love them. They sound so good. They look good. And, uh, I'm just so excited that, um, you know, one of the groups I'm working with was able to get them. And uh, there's a few other groups that uh, I'm getting set up with these as well. So it's just nice to have, um, you know, some firsthand experience really getting these things set up. We've got them linked. The last thing for their speaker stacks is just to get some, uh, some tie down straps to get everything strapped to the cart. So I will likely be making a second trip out here to help get the straps on to make sure that all of the Dante stuff and the wireless receivers, uh, are gonna you know, communicate with the mixer properly and to help them get their computer 
and all of that set up for their sound design in here. Um, and then we're also planning on doing some rehearsals. Uh, and then I, th I think last detail for the synths here is we've got an 88 key uh, Novation launch key. That's the launch key 88. And here we have the launch key 61 in the secondary synth cart. All right, let me know if y'all have questions about any of the equipment. I'm happy to provide anyone out there with quotes on, uh, you know, the same or similar stuff for your school. And of course, we're, we'd be happy to talk about doing a system installation for you as well. Um, and if you have questions and are just looking for help and that's all you need, still reach out. I'm happy to help out. Um, you know, I, I'm here to help educators have more time to teach. And uh, that's what I'd like to do. So until next time, y'all, peace.